Okay, we're going to go back to the head here. I'm going to put hair on either side and put a little bit of a neck in there. So we're going to just put a stop cut up to the hat. Hopefully you have the brim and two portions of the hat done up. And I'm just going to go back here and we're going to just cut a little piece out. Just like so. Alright. Alright, and then we're going to come over here and we're just going to bring this down a little bit and cut that out so that his cheeks stand out a little further. Alright, we'll go in there with a V tool and make that hairline. Alright. And we're going to do the same thing over here on this side. Okay, we're going to bring this down kind of deep. Right there where they meet. Alright. Okay. Alright. Looks alright to me. And his hat looks okay. Let's see if we can go ahead and keep going here. Um, I think what I'm going to do is he's going to need... This is going to be a little bit of a tough part. Um, his arms will come down, of course, and across. And his drum is right here. So we're going to put a lot of detail into the drum when we get to that. Uh, we got to cut underneath it. Okay, let's cut underneath it next. Alright. You know, I love doing these things that will block uh, as much as I can possibly do without doing a whole profile cut on these. Alright, I'm going to let me think here how I want to do that. I keep looking at a face thinking it needs some more depth to it here and there. Alright. So. Alright. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and put in the arms here all the way to the drum. Let's put the drum out first. We're going to go underneath. We can do that here. Um, I'm going to go over a little further. I'm going to go up to the drum. Because he's going to be holding a drumstick, of course. A, uh, whatever you call it. Drumstick. I guess that's what you call it. Alright. And we're going to undercut. Stop cuts are wonderful. They help prevent so much from going past where you need to go. Um, you learn to do these stop cuts. It makes it so much easier to, to carve. Alright. Now, his arm is going to come out further. So let's, let's do this. We're going to come up here. Okay, see on my angle here. And then we're going to turn it. 
All right, we're going to turn it. See how I turn it parallel to the corner and then come up. All right. And we're going to cut, cut this out here. I'm going against the grain there. Let's go the other way. Whenever you feel it resist a little bit, uh, go the other way. Save yourself the headache. And if you're a new carver, that's going to be kind of hard to, to figure out sometimes when to turn it and when not. Now, I don't want to take a lot out there because we're going to have to put the drumstick in here as well. So um, you want to be mindful of that. And the same thing over here. We're going to put a drumstick in here as well. Let's go to the body here and the hand to that corner and then come up here and take that out. Now, that will work. That's a little deeper than I thought I had it. Alright. Alright, there we go. Alright, so he's shaping up and then uh, we're going to put a drumstick in here okay and we're going to have it sticking out a little bit at the bottom the same thing here we're going to have a drumstick here and it coming up next to him all right then he's he's going to have a, a drumstick uh, in either hand in both hands and then we're going to do his feet yet but I'm debating whether I want to do it mm. I think we're going to do it like we do with the shepherd I think that would look nicer so we're going to go down a little ways we're not going to go all the way to the drum but we're going to come down a little ways here and we're going to put a stop cut you want to be very careful when you do this because there's nothing there so uh, to prevent you from going up too far so let's do this we're gonna go up we did our stop cut and you know when I do these videos folks I don't I don't go over them to death and and I don't edit them I kind of just go with whatever it is it is um, I try very hard to do it right the first time Sometimes you see me switch midstream and something, and I don't mean to confuse you when I do that. It's just uh, sometimes I think of a better way. I was going to put the feet all the way around and decided that may not be the best way of handling this today. All right. So we're going to just go up here. We're going to just cut. I'm going to go a little higher. Um, I know I had it here somewhere and there it is. When you use that water and stuff that makes everything swell up. Makes the wood swell. All right, let's take this down here. We're going to give him some toes and a sandal. You know, just like the others. All right, so he's coming along pretty good. Uh, we'll be back.